Um, my name is Ming Ayu, uh, Royal Master, Royal Leaders Club in this Atomy company, Atomy Canada. I, I know a lot of you here probably new, new people here today, right? How, how many are new? Or kind of new? Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I tell you this. I was like you guys, exactly just like you guys. Probably, like I said, somebody dragged you here, right? Who, who's the one that dragged them? Let's have a show of hands who dragged those people here. <laughs> ah, good, good. You did a good job. Yeah, please thank those guys who dragged you. Do you guys know why? Well, I'm going to tell you something really funny because today I'm sharing you not as a royal master, but I'm going to share to you a journey of how I was just a consumer and to end up here on the stage. So that's why it's a very amazing story. Even to this day, I actually don't understand why I'm standing here, but obviously there must be a reason why I'm standing here, right? So um, let me start with the PowerPoint. I'm actually a licensed uh, realtor uh, 31 years now. Uh, do I look like somebody who's a realtor for 31 years? No. <laughs> you know, I tell you this, it's a really big shocker. Um, I walk, during COVID, I walked to my office and uh, actually, one of this, uh, my colleague, I've known him for 25 years. And you know what he said to me at the front of the entrance of the, my office, uh, the real estate office? He said, hey, rookie. And I said, rookie? And I said, Fred, don't you remember me? He goes, who are you? He didn't recognize me. And I've known him for 25 years. You don't even know how many deals we've done together. Do you know why he doesn't recognize me? You got it. You got it. So how much would you pay to look younger? Priceless, right? So you know, for me, um, you know, being a realtor, one thing I tell you this. Uh, I remember when I first started as a realtor, you know, you look too young. Who's going to trust you, right, for your service? So, you know, of course, I've been doing it so long now. But, you know, I, I know age, you know, I've seen some realtors, they color their hair gray. <laughs> to get, you know, looking wise, but it's not about that. It's about what's inside you. And, and that's why this company has shown me a lot more things about life than, you know, what most of us really understand. Because, you know, I, I'm sorry, we all live in this planet. We all get mind boggled with time, working. Uh, we need to survive, especially now, right, during pandemic. The inflation is hitting us, all of us, right? Yeah, so it's making things tough for us. And, you know, for, the, for me in this company, you know, honest to tell you, it started with one item, and that's how amazing it was. If it weren't for this item, we actually wouldn't have even joined. What do you guys think that item is? Yeah. <laughs> this oral care set. Amazingly, amazingly. Think about this. You guys saw, what, uh, you know, by the way, great job on all the speaking guys, every single one of you. And uh, congrats to all the leaders who are sitting in the front. And one day I tell you this, I'm going to tell you another story about this, how you can sit in the front. <laughs> There's so many stories today because uh, they actually told me I have many hours. So I hope you guys have a lot of time. Take a lot of notes because I tell you this, it's rare for someone to come up here and tell you a real truthful story. And I'm telling you everything. There's no, there's no editing, okay? So this oral care set costs 450. Do you know how much this oral care set is actually really worth right now? It's to say for, you know, the account's under my uh, wife's name, Rebecca. She's the one who joined. So how we started is my wife actually bumped into a friend, invited her somewhere, and she was doing a, a fundraising. She says, we have these travel kits. And she knew I was looking for it for the longest time. And for donation-wise, we donated some money to get this. So, of course, I said, oh, yeah, just get a couple of those. Why not, right? And she goes, okay. So she picked it up, brought it home, threw it underneath the sink, right? That's what we all do. <laughs> and then uh, when we travel, then we pull it out, right? So before I travel like any cautious guys, right, guys? <laughs> we ask our spouse to try it. So I asked Rebecca to try it first. And she goes, wow, this thing's amazing cleans exceptionally well, and the bristles were soft. And look, the kit is nice, compact, and it's breathable. There's an you know, air vent there. So of course he goes, you should take it on your trip. So I took it on my trip. I said, wow, this thing's good, convenient. You know, I always have to use some container or some bag, and then you know, you're, when you're going on a trip, 
How many of you rush? Yeah, that's me. Exactly. Last minute, grabbing everything. I threw everything into some kind of bag, and I just pack it, and I go. So this oral kit was amazing. After I used it for a while, I said, hey, I need more. And so we contacted that person. They go, oh, yeah, uh, it's a free account. I said, hmm, I don't trust you. Right? How many of us don't trust? Many. Yeah, see, that guy raised his hand. <laughs> I would be exactly like him raising hand. So I had three standard questions I asked this person. I said, first, is there anything they have to pay afterwards, like for this account or auto ship or anything like that? They said, no. Okay, good. Okay. And then uh, how about uh, do I have to continue to order stuff if I don't want to? They also said no. So there was no auto ship. Oh, okay, great. And the third one is, can I close the account? Look at that, eh? <laughs> and they said, yeah, you can. Okay, you answered my three questions. Perfect. Give me 10 minutes. Why do you guys think I need 10 minutes? Research, guys. That's what we all do, right? We ask Google. Yeah? And I did. I Googled it right away, out of me. Well, no red flags at all. So I told my wife, Rebecca, go ahead, create the account. And that's how the journey began. We created a free account from this item that later became where I am now at. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, actually, you know what? Before I start, I need to do something because... I don't want to talk as a royal master, so. But you know, I have a deeper story to this. Because I actually never wanted like some kind of business. I don't like MLM, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I, I remember, thir oh, I think 36 years ago, I got first introduced to, of course, one of these um, MLM companies. I got scared. Um, and I never even joined that company. And for the last 30 something years, so many people tried to recruit me. Very difficult to recruit me. I'm like that guy in the front there. Right away, I have a question, and tons of questions. In the end, they waste all their time. And I'll still say no. But amazingly, I don't know what happened with Adam. <laughs> I gave the okay, but you know what? I mean, I didn't sign it up. You know, it was Rebecca that signed it, right? So, of course, after joining the company, uh, Rebecca really loved the company. So she tried the skincare, everything. It was great. Wow, it's, this is effective stuff. No, but like most uh, <clears throat> spouse, right, guys? <laughs> what will we worry about? You got it. Yeah, the money part, price. So you know what I check? Credit card bill. Yeah, I noticed when Rebecca ordered, I'm going, wow, amazing. You know, the, uh, the credit card bill was kind of low. <laughs> Why is it so low? And then uh, she ordered again. I go, oh, it's still low. Oh, usually when you go shopping, it's quite expensive. It's just the items arrive, and then you see, wow, you know, all those items, it must cost a fortune. But the price was actually low. So, of course, like any uh, man, we watched the bill being low. We said, okay, continue, continue. So that's where she started, and then she started doing a lot more sharing uh, because Rebecca was helping her mom at the salon back then, and she did a lot of sharings there. So our, our journey began by just sharing, like most of you guys. You just start continuing to share. Uh, and, I, and I know for sure, many of you, you know, have a lot of difficulties that you face, even in the Atomy business. But that's actually normal. We face difficulties every single second. You guys know that, right? Even coming here, there's difficulty, right? It could be traffic jam, right? And then sometimes there's a lineup to get in, right? Fighting for a seat. So, you know, we should be, you know, understanding that you know, having all this type of difficulty is a norm. It is. So don't let that wear you out. That's number one. Um, I want to go back to this part because in real estate, I specialize in investments. So what I noticed when I was doing research in this company, I found out it was very, very good. It's, it has a, a platform that it makes it a very good investment. Number one thing, I know a lot of you do investing, right? It's as you look at all the cryptocurrency, right? <laughs> But, you know, when you invest in something, you have to look at what you can actually willing to lose. Am I correct? Yeah, because it, it's a risk factor. You might lose something. But let's take a look at Atomy. Okay? How much do you need to invest in Atomy? No, there's not really an investment. Think about it. Like, you're not really forking money out. Look, I needed the oral care set. She needed skin care. You needed herbal shampoo, right? 
tons of things you need. Those are things that you normally buy anyways. So I don't really call that the investment part of this company. But the investment part that you really need to do is actually yourself. It's self-learning, educating, sharing. Can you put a price to it? There is no price tag. Because it's free. Sorry, this mic is going. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's, uh, let me just see, uh, it will continue to talk. But let me go to here. Um, for us, when we started doing Atomy, you know, we needed an education center. I, I mean, here I see Toronto, you guys have a lot of centers, which is good. Please thank all the center leaders here. Let's give them a hand of applause. <laughs> you know why they open center? Please get that out of your head. They're not opening the center for themselves. You know that, right? They're opening the center is actually for all of you guys. So it's a place where you guys can go, learn, and you know, be comfortable about it, right? And that's why the centers are there. It's called Education Center for Purpose. So take a look at this picture. Do you remember that guy, for those of you? Yeah. So that was April 24th, 2015. I know many of you, you guys probably seen all my videos and everything. And actually, I, I get a lot of people coming up to me and saying, you know, wow, you know, I love your speeches and everything. And they all think I'm a professional speaker. I'm actually not. You know, like I said, I'm an investment real estate advisor. So it's all one-on-one -on -one base, right? So this picture, as you can see, um, what happened is after Rebecca joined about three months later, uh, she actually lost her voice. And they wanted to send her over here to Toronto. So instead of her, she couldn't come, so they send me. They send somebody who wasn't interested. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and guess what? I sat here in the front, just like you guys. And you know, because of the time zone and everything, and I just flew over here, I was so tired, I was falling asleep. <laughs> I was a bad student. But look, I was not, a, uh, there was no title or anything. Uh, we were just an agent, because of the product that she bought, you know, enough for her to become an agent. And Guess what, they put me on stage. Did you guys know, back then, that was my first time speaking on stage. So many things happened here in Toronto. I did not remember until actually I was working on this PowerPoint. I was going, wow. So now I'm coming back to the very first place that I actually kind of began being put on stage here. So thank you first, guys, for allowing me to come here. So take a look at the picture. Have I changed a lot? So you know this is proof, right? For those of you, I, I remember I met a few of you. You guys told me you remember the day I was here the first time. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm happy, but I'm sorry. I actually don't remember you. <laughs> because I had no interest. I was like forced to come, yeah. But the funny thing is when I came here, I met a lot of people. Um, but during my journey, I actually got to speak uh, in a lot of places. Very, very lucky. I don't know what happened, uh, but even just as a diamond master, amazing, amazing things happened. Got to speak everywhere, um, and even as a diamond master, I remember I was uh, going to my, uh, one of my uh, university reunion back then. I think it's our 26 or 27 year university reunion in Taiwan. And it just so happened they had a one day seminar. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna pop in and just check it out. So I went to the Taiwan one day seminar, and guess what happened? Oh my God, full house, no seats. And it's like, I think 500 or 700 people. Everyone was just like full, there's so many people. But then I recognized uh, one of the head office guys because they came to Canada before. And then also um, uh, I recognized one or two of the leaders they came by before uh, to Canada. And you know, of course we, we kind of helped and met them and took them out you know, to, as a tour guide. And they remember seeing me. And guess what they offered to me? They go, come, come here, I'm gonna give you a seat. Guess where I sat? Not in the front. Do you know where I sat? With the leaders on the side. I was sitting with the top of the top Taiwanese leaders and the director of uh, Atomy Taiwan on the same table. And I was going, 
okay, what did I get myself into? I was just going to pop by and just say hi and check it out. And they put me right on that part. And do you know how many people came up to me afterwards? Because they were wondering, who's this guy? Because they recognize all the Taiwan leaders. <laughs> so they come over and they ask, oh, who are you? <laughs> In Mandarin, of course. And so I answered them, I go, no, I'm from Canada. <laughs> and I'm Diamond Master. <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> yeah. So my experience in anatomy has been something very unique. I can't quite explain why those opportunities came up. Can you guys tell me why those things happen? I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was fate that has coordinated that. But even you know, coming to Toronto that very first time, so that trip in April uh, 2015, I actually met the chairman here in the very beginning, and also the number one member. He took me out for breakfast. So I was watching the awards ceremony here, and I don't quite understand the company still, but what are the odds that you get to meet like the founding people, right? Think about that. Something must be there, right? So it always has crossed my mind that, hmm, maybe I was supposed to do anatomy anyways, right? Yeah, that, that's always on my mind. So, you know, it was always uh, uh, my wife, Rebecca, who's the one so interested to do anatomy. But let me go back to this part. So here, I'm going to show you a little bit about my timeline. So as you can see, January 2015, we joined. April, we came to Toronto. I came to Toronto, yeah. And then after coming to Toronto, I went back. Uh, you, know, you know, Rebecca focused and became sales master. And then a little later, diamond master. And then as you can see there, you notice the January 2017? Yeah, that's actually when I really officially decided to help out. Yeah, so it took me two years, two years to think it through. That's like most men, right? Yeah, we take a long time to think. It's true. Yeah, um, I was watching her do this anatomy business. I saw the difficulty she had to face. So like many of you, I know you have a lot of difficulties. You know, we've been there. Yeah, I've been there a lot, yeah. And you know, like, like I can tell you, you know, anatomy is a very amazing company. Even me, I, I don't understand there's so many things that's happened with me doing anatomy that it's shown me that you know this is the right direction that I should be moving forward with. And that's why I do a lot of times, you know, would love you know, to go on stage and share my story to help many of you. And as you can see, the timeline is not a long time, right? Look at, I told you I do real estate for 31 years. But do you know for real estate, let's say the day that I stop, do I have money coming in? Right? You don't. So think about this. Well, how is our anatomy business? It's different. When you stop, it still continues. There's a continuum. Because the passion's been instilled. The consumer's been created. Think about this. Let's not even talk about anything else. When you like something as a consumer, don't you continue to go shopping? You do. Right? So our ad company products here, look, even just the oral care set, can I find a replacement right now? No, there is no replacement still. Not for that price and not for that quality, okay? So is eight years a long time to be get to where we are now at this level? Um, I can tell you guys this. You guys are actually very, very lucky here in Toronto. Toronto has the largest Atomy members and a lot of successful Atomy leaders here. And one of the top ones is here, the crown leader, uh, she's actually not here today uh, because she has, I think she's still in Korea. But, you know, you have a lot of top people here that can actually help you guys. So that's why it's very beneficial for you guys to, you know, if you're interested in the anime business. But for us, being in Western Canada, there wasn't any leaders at all. You know, we actually had a head, head office, so I'm very, very thankful for Atomy Canada because they are one of the biggest guidance for us. You know, like anybody, you know, if you have a good parent, isn't your life a lot more easier? Yeah, it is, right? So, but think about this. Our eight years, we didn't have parents. Mm-hmm. And look, it's possible, right? So our anatomy success system, uh, Angela actually mentioned about the motto. 
I think many of you, especially new people, please don't get scared. Yeah, I was scared, but you guys don't be scared. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I heard these people stand up, chant, throwing their fists up. Wow, I was going, oh my God, what did I get myself into? <laughs> but once you understand what our company motto really is, the in-depth meaning of it, I tell you, you guys will understand why this company exists and why it can help you. Okay? So attending the seminar is a great thing. I mean, how many of you pay for your additional educations or seminars you attend? You do. Hey, look, this is free, right? So if it's free, it doesn't cost you anything except for your time. So please come and attend and learn. And then our company has such a great platform in regards to learning. Look at all the Channel Anatomy, the YouTubes, and all the product knowledge that you can get all online. And that's amazing, because I remember when we started, there wasn't too much of that. There just wasn't. But now, you know, 2022, there's tons of information. And look at the language. Oh, it's amazing. There's so many languages that you can actually access. So that can really help. So let me go to this part. Um, I need to talk about this guy. This guy is a very good guy. He's a uh, chairman's um, brother. He actually came to Vancouver. Uh, you know, because like for us and during the earlier stage, we faced a lot of difficulties. So many times we didn't want to do this anymore. You know that, right? <laughs> you know, like many of us, when we face difficulty, we want to quit. Yeah. yeah I, I actually counted it. There was at least 25 times that we wanted to quit because we said, you know, we don't need this, right? Because of all the difficult things that we had to face in anatomy. But somehow it still made us continue. So, and... And this guy is actually one of the guys who gave a very good advice. And that advice was, he says, don't worry about anything that's above you. Just remember everything below you is very important, right? Because that's what's grown, that's sprouted from you. So you should take care of everything that's below. Don't even care about anything above, no need to. Just keep moving forward with what's below you because that's created by you, okay? So, which is true. With those, that thought in mind, that advice, it always crossed my mind, so every time we have difficulty, I would think about that, and I said, you know what, I'll give it another chance, even though it's 25 times. And, you know, these common questions that we all have, because I know I always uh, do a lot of speaking, and a lot of people come up after the seminar, they ask me, oh, can you tell me what's the fastest way to do anatomy? Wow. <laughs> you know, we all want the quickest route we do, right? But sometimes the quickest route is not the route meant for you. That's why you're not given that, okay? So, for example, we all need money. Yes, that's for sure. We never have enough time, right? Oh, I gotta go to work. Or my spouse doesn't want me to do it, but I still wanna do it, right? There's so many different things that can affect you doing the anatomy business. But I have to give you this advice. Please remember, you are what's called an individual, am I correct? Doesn't matter the person beside you, above you, across to you, wherever they are. It doesn't matter. You can still move forward because you are called an individual. You need to take care of yourself first. Especially remember one thing. Especially I need to talk about the spouse part, your partner. You know, when you guys got married, what did you say? You're going to do things together, right? Yeah. And then this Adamy came in and no, you said no. Well, just remind that person, okay? What did you say when you get married? <laughs> you need to do together this. Because obviously, this account is gonna to belong to both of you. Yes, although I don't have an active uh, membership, but I am married to it, right? You know that's how it works in Canada, right? So I'm entitled to half this account. So uh, even right now, this half account is worth a lot from just an investment of $4.50 buying an oral care set, become now over 200,000 a year auto income coming in. And you know what the amazing part of this whole story is? We weren't even focused on the money. We were just focused on sharing and helping people. So what company has a platform that without the intent of even the business part can help you become successful. And that's, if you watch our chairman's video, he talks about that. And it's true. Because again, we are proof to that. 
So when you don't have time, please remember that's you. That's the person inside you that's telling you not to do it. But you need to, you know, first talk to that guy inside you and tell him, hey, look, I really want to do this. So the battle is always within yourself. So please don't blame the person beside you, in front of you, above you especially. <laughs> but the person is actually inside you. That's the person that you really need to go to battle with. Getting out of bed, moving forward, doing this, it all takes a lot of work. You know, there's nothing quick in life. You know, I have to talk about something that's very interesting when we talk about hemohim. You know, I have a lot of people who, I have a lot of consumers who consumes hemohim. They always ask you, what's this hemohim medicine? And I always have to clarify, it's not a medicine. And don't expect what's called a quick fix. Because in life, a quick fix is called a band-aid, right? And what happens to your band-aid? It falls off. Guaranteed, it always does. And then your problem, still there, right? So to fix something takes a lot of effort and work. So why do everyone always expect a quick fix, right? So once, most importantly, it's yourself. If you have a good understanding of things, you'll understand that everything takes time. So the Atomy business takes time. First of all is yourself. You need to build yourself up. That is number one. And of course, why is our system actually really, really works? A lot of people ask, what's so different about our system versus other system? Well, I can tell you this. Even if you look at our, our current banking system and everything, look at it. What's our, how much interest do you really get from the bank? Not much. And even if you earn interest on it, you get taxed on it. It's actually a losing battle, right? But in Atomy, though, let's say you invested your time to grow the business. Remember, it's just sharing this company's product since you like it anyways. You're going to share the products that you like. And if they like it, they're going to continue to buy. And if they like it, they're going to share it. So there's a continuous momentum that will move forward. And sometimes you can't even stop that. So one of the things I can tell a lot of the future uh, people who, do, who wants to do this business, remember this. There isn't a business that will automatically continue to build even if something happened to you that you need to stop. Am I correct? There isn't. But this one, it does. It will continue to move automatically. Once it gets to a certain degree, it's like momentum, right? Once the momentum's built, it will continue. But sometimes, I'm sorry, your journey is because you got an uphill. That's what the guy above made sure he organized for you. He goes, you know, you have a little tougher task. You have to go up a hill first. So that's why you have to pass that part. So once you pass that part, you have the momentum. So like our company, look, that global membership, I'm telling you guys, I actually still remember it since our first year. I keep looking at, oh, those Korean leaders are so lucky. Everyone belongs underneath them. You know, we always have that envy, right? <laughs> but you know what the funny thing is? I have leaders now outside too, yeah. And I took the time to build it. Yeah, that's all it takes, it's just your own time. And with our company, you never know where it's gonna expand to. Look, Mongolia just opened, right? And then, you know, UK opened last year, or this year, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, there's many different places that you might share to some consumers who have relatives there. So, one of the key things I can tell a lot of you is that so you want to know how to be successful in something, it's all about learning. Number one, self-learning. You know, I'll tell you a funny story. That first step, eight steps of success, I actually never knew about this eight steps of success until the company, I forgot it was here or there, they asked me to do the eight steps of success uh, seminar. So I researched it and I learned how about the eight steps. That's my experience in learning the eight step, and then I, I did a lecture on it. Yeah, so that's how amazing it is. Even though you don't have practice in it, you still can do it. Yeah, and actually I, I remember I did a pretty good job because a lot of people came up, they said they really understand it about the eight step. And they asked me, oh, how many times did I, you know, practice and use this eight step? And I told them I actually didn't even use the full eight steps, only three. <laughs> so, you know, even though there's eight steps, remember, you know, go with your capability. It doesn't have to be the full eight. Even if you do one, two, or three, or even just one, it's still good. Learning, learn at your own pace. 
And that's the flexibility in this company, right? But of course, if you want it faster, please learn more, come to the seminar, go to your education center, talk to your leaders. They're all there to work together with you to make sure you all succeed together. Number two, life scenario. Uh, raise your hand, how many people have done their life scenario? Wow, you guys are good. Yeah, I was bad. Yeah, you know, I remember they gave me that life scenario, especially here in Toronto. Yeah, I couldn't even fill out two box because I didn't understand this company at that time. And I was going, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? So I was hiding. <laughs> so it took me, I think, almost two years before I finally completed my very first life scenario. Yeah, that's how long it took me to do it. And when I completed my life scenario, guess what happened? It's a powerful tool, I'm telling you. When you write something, very, very powerful. Because writing is like embedding. You embed something. So when you embed something, it will happen. Do you guys believe that? Yeah, and it's true. Uh, maybe next time, if a company invites me to come here again, which I hope you guys are not you know, bored, um, I'll show you that life scenario that I do have a picture of it. And it does correlate with the things that happened in my atomy life. And it became achieved. So that's the amazing part. And that's why I want you guys to really focus on the life scenario, because I was a bad student, but I want you guys to be all good students. Yeah, and because by writing it out, you are embedding your new journey in life, and it will appear right in front of you, slowly sometimes, but sometimes can be very, very fast. And number three, balanced life. How many of you want balanced life? Raise your hand. Okay, second question. How many of you have balanced life? See, nobody. And even myself, I have to put my hand down because I don't have a balanced life. Yeah. To this day, um, actually, I'm still super busy. Uh, even uh, this morning, I was dealing with a real estate matter. <laughs> and uh, there was a lot of complication. <laughs> and then uh, even one of my other businesses, too, I have some complication there. So it's things that we created. Sometimes you're still trying to resolve it and can't let go. But even like my, for myself, I am planning to exit from a lot of things because uh, I, I want to focus on Atomy. I really want to just do Atomy and help a lot of people to succeed because I don't really need anything more. You know, a, a lot of people actually look at me and they say, oh, you know, you're, you're successful now, even in my career too, yes. But when I first started in my career, uh, even uh, some of you can actually search the video, you can see, or actually during the uh, recent uh, career success, I talked about it, we started with nothing. Yeah, I actually started at negative $17,000. That was how we started, yeah, back in 1997. So how do you break out of the negative and go to positive? See, that's what you gotta do, right? So number one, determination. Ask yourself, how determined are you? That is number one, okay? Because without determination, a lot of things will fall apart. Just like a person who goes to the gym. You notice we all look at these gym people and we go, wow, their body looks so nice, right? They perfected it. But we don't understand what they actually have to go through. Look, they have to cut their diet, right? They have to eat all these things. They have a grueling schedule going to the gym. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was a gym nut too when I was in university. Yeah, so I love training and, you know, because you keep wanting to perfect your body. But look what happened when I started working. Oh my God, everything <laughs> fell apart. And that's the truth, yeah. I still love, and every single day, I dream of going to the gym. Even this hotel had a gym. Did you know, actually, on the plane ride here, I said, I'm gonna hit that gym. Guess what happened, guys? I didn't make it there again. So sad. See, that's the battle that we face. The battle is actually us. It's inside us. We're the ones who couldn't make it there. Even though on the plane I said, I'm going to do it this time, I brought my running shoes, I brought my gym stuff, it's still in the suitcase, guys. <laughs> it couldn't even come out of the suitcase. So hopefully 
my next trip, I will break out of that. So hopefully, yeah. So balanced life is extremely important to every single one of us. Because you know why? You can't buy health, I'm telling you. I know that for a fact. Please do not overwork yourself. Because if you create a lot of damage in your body, it's like something that's gonna take you a lot more to repair it, right? So take care of it first, that's number one. Balance life is extremely important. And I can tell you this, Atomy gives balanced life to a lot of people. Because even my members, I tell you, even some of my consumers, they experience balanced life from Atomy. And they tell me that, so they're extremely happy. Number four, auto sales master. It is actually very, very important. You need to actually get yourself to push yourself to become an auto sales master. Because once you become auto sales master, you'll feel that constant income coming in naturally, okay? So how do you create that? Consumers, this is a PV-driven product company. So all you need to do is just keep sharing it. So I realized that in the very beginning when we were doing this Atomy business, I said, we just need to create more consumers first. So that's the first step. You already like the products. I mean, you guys know, I'm not sure if I showed you before, but maybe I'll show you next time. I actually have hair loss 10 years ago. Yeah, for those of you who've seen, right? I mean, thanks to the herbal shampoo, it's still there. <sighs> yeah, I'm lucky. <laughs> so, I mean, this is priceless. I was spending a lot of money on my hair, I'm telling you. It was a huge expense. But the herbal shampoo and the hair tonic was not very expensive. And it's still here. Yeah. And I've been sharing it. It helps a lot of people too. Right? I I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, some of you don't have hair. I understand. <laughs> but you might still have the follicle, so there's still a chance. <laughs> but even if you don't have hair, remember, you could help somebody else who might have the problem. Okay? So remember that. <laughs> so the auto sales master is one of the key components in this whole Atomy business because sales master is where it all begins. First is to achieve that level. Secondly is how this level can actually generate some kind of income for you. So that's very important, especially nowadays. Don't raise your hand. Who wants extra income? Yeah. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, I know you're rich. <laughs> you're retired, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like I said, you know, sometimes not for everyone, but I'm telling you, everyone needs extra income because what's happening is inflation is going to continue to climb. You need to offset it. And the only way to offset inflation is to build something else on the side. So what more flexible than Atomy? It doesn't cost you anything. It's free, right? You use the products anyways. All you need to do is share, and it can start creating some type of income, right? Number five, you know, this is actually one of the biggest key, I tell you, to becoming successful in Atomy, is actually your personal improvement. All those things that you don't like about yourself, all those things that you want to change about yourself, this is the Atomy business. It can give you that opportunity to start doing things. Um, I'm going to show you some pictures at the end that's going to tell you about you know, my personal improvement, how it's actually changed me. So eight steps of success, um, please you know, Google it. There's lots of YouTube videos. Uh, watch the Atomy ones. Those are very good. Uh, and then if you want to watch something a little bit different, then you watch the other type of eight steps of success. But it does teach you a lot about building yourself, which is very, very important. Okay? And the, the eight step there, duplication, extremely important. So make sure you educate yourself so you don't duplicate wrong, right? You guys understand about cloning, right? Yeah. So how often is the clone, the one that you want to clone, become that clone? No, it usually something goes wrong because you watch the movies, right? <laughs> so make sure you duplicate properly, meaning you follow our company system, right? And do it properly because it will duplicate and you want it to be duplicating properly because that creates stability, right? Because without stability, how are you going to have that constant business that's going to come in and the constant income? The Life Sense Arrow, um, like I mentioned, uh, there is that booklet. Please, please uh, get that from your center. It's a very worthwhile book to get.
because that can really help you. Because once you start writing in it, you put in your goals, you know, what the things that you want in life, it will start appearing right in front of your eyes. So here's something funny. Um, I was brought to speak in Malaysia, and like I told you, we don't have guidance. So I didn't understand what's a star master. I only seen them fly in from Korea. <laughs> and they tell me they're a star master, but I don't know how you can get to become a star master. So I was a guest speaker in uh, Malaysia at the grand opening, and I was watching these Malaysian leaders, and they just opened the country, and she's a star master already. I was going, how? How's that possible? <laughs> I heard from these Korean leaders, it took them still, you know, some years to do it, right? How can this Malaysian, boom, there they are. So I flipped my paper on the other side and I started thinking, how is it possible? So I started drawing. So this is the actual picture that I kept, drawing out the star master. So what happens, remember I said about the life scenario when you start drawing? Yeah. After I drew it, the momentum began. Yeah. And I think you guys saw the timeline. It wasn't too long. Uh, we became star masters. So that's how powerful writing can be. And that's why it's very important. You must always write. I know right now we all have smartphones. Nobody writes, right? <laughs> but please, you still got to pick up the pen, the paper, and start drawing, okay? So you can see, that's the Star Master one. Actually, this is the Royal Master one. Ah. I, ha I didn't really have intent to do Royal Master, but drew that in uh, late June. <laughs> yeah, so I drew it out because I wanted to know what it feels like and what it takes to become a Royal Master at that one moment. And after drawing it, I was looking at the chart, I was going, Oh my God, how many sales master you need? 108 minimum, and they have to be in the right location. And they all have to rise in the two, you know, two weeks period. Oosh. Yeah, but still, you draw it, right? And what happens when you draw it, guys? It happens, right? You know, achieving financial freedom and having a balanced life is very, very hard. We all crave for that. You know, all these motivational speakers, they tell you all these things. Or, you know, I, I've attended a lot of, um, you know, these uh, MLM companies. They always preach that and they tell you it's always possible. And then, you know, I know a lot of people who join companies like that and they, they never can get there. But I'm telling you guys, even without that craving of an MLM company, you know, being just a very good consumer and sharing and helping people, you know, we achieve financial freedom also, and also having a balanced life, and also achieving something in both me and Rebecca's dream to do is to help a lot of people. And that's why Auto Sales Master is very important. You must learn about the very beginning. The whole system is based on Sales Master. Um, I want you guys to understand, I know the company's been offering what's called semi-sales master. Um, you know, what I learned in life is, don't do anything half. Am I correct? Right? If you're going to do something, go all the way. Right? So, if you already get to half, finish it. Don't be semi-sales master, please. Be sales master. Because that's already written in your mind. So a lot of people, you know, they think, how am I going to have that personal improvement? Um, I can tell you this. When you start moving forward in life, you will have the energy. There's things that's going to back you up. You'll see it. Maybe it's your member. Maybe it's your consumers. Maybe it's the leaders underneath you. They will back you up. They will support you. And that's why it'll give you more confidence, right? And I'll, I'll, when you have more confidence, what happened? You're healthier, right? And obviously, you de using the Atomy products helps you look younger, right? Which is already priceless. 
And we actually, in our center, we do a lot of training, sometimes not even about Atomy. Because a lot of us, what we always need is what's called personal development, right? Yeah, I know. So, you know, this is just a little advice for the business people who are doing Atomy. You know, learn to develop that part with your consumers or business potentials or leaders that's underneath you. You need to do personal development with them. Work together, okay? Because this part's a very core value that you're building into each individual. Everyone needs that because we, we all have a lot of difficulties and sometimes we don't tell people about it, right? And that's trapped inside us. But by helping them, you know, you free them from that, you know, trap and they can move forward to the next step in their life. And Lucky, oh, you know, I love showing this picture because I, I took a picture of her in 2017. And she's an imperial master now. Yeah. And I saw her in Korea. I was so happy to see her. Yeah, she's one of my idols because I always go, I want luck. But you know what? Sometimes because you want something, I'm sorry, the guy upstairs says, you're not going to get the luck. You're going to have to work for it, right? So in my card, I understand I need to work for it, and which is fine. You know, if that's my journey, I will still do it. But underneath me, I have members who are very lucky. Yeah, they didn't do extremely a lot, but what's built underneath them, you know, because we kept moving forward, we helped train everybody, and those things get built. You know, this company is a binary system. So imagine you find one on the left, one on the right. They're already moving forward. That's all it takes. Wow, what a great business, right? So just like her, you know, I think her very beginning was not too hard. And then she grew very, very fast. And that's why I was admiring her. But, you know, now that I, I understand that, you know, the one thing is something sometimes can create some negativity. So don't want something instead, but work towards it, okay? And a lot of people ask, how to become successful? Well, look at this. Look at this person. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So who's going to get that license plate now? <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, if you're going to do something, do it all the way. This person loves him or him, right? Yeah, you can tell for sure. Yeah. Uh, he might like him or him more than his spouse. Uh-oh, we're just kidding. <laughs> so you can tell how passionate this person is, right, <laughs> when they do that. Yeah. So that's another important thing. You need to be crazy. And it is true. Yeah. Uh, I know I, wa I watched the ch our chairman's video. He talks about that. And I was going, wow, that's interesting. How can you be so crazy about Atomy? Well, it's true. Even I think I'm a nut. You know, I I'm shocked. Sometimes I'm talking to somebody, and all of a sudden, Atomy products will be flying out of my mouth. I was going, what am I doing? I I I'm talking about real estate, and then, it, you know, I'm talking about this detergent and how you can use it to clean the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> See? You can't stop. You know, I realized I was actually becoming crazy. Yeah, and Atomy just keeps coming out. And that's a key component also to you to become successful, okay? So be crazy, guys. Ah, leadership. Wow. Who's a parent here? Who have kids? Okay, good. Well, you're already a leader now. <laughs> do you have a tough time leading those uh, members underneath you, these kids? You do, right? Yeah. When they're 13 or 14 or 15, you have to hold back. <laughs> Especially if they're girls, right? <laughs> you can't say too much, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. So you see, we are all born leaders. You already have that capability. Yeah. So to become a good leader, just like a good parent, you need to learn more and you need to understand. You need to learn to listen, right? Sometime to the members below you, the consumers below you. Please don't shut them off right away. You know, they're, they're expressing something because they're just starting. So there's going to be a lot of questions. You know, even for me, I still get those new consumers coming to me asking those basic questions. 
And then I actually had a leader beside me, and she actually said to me, she goes, you still answer those questions? And I said to her, I go, you don't? <laughs> I said, I still do. And I go, oh, I thought when you become a royal master, you don't have to answer any of those questions. I said, no. I go, you forgot the company motto? <laughs> Yes, you must continue to do it, irregardless, right? Because you're there to help people, right? Please understand they're just beginning. And that's why whether it's a consumer or a young leader, they have a lot of questions. Just assist them, help them, and they will get there. And the key to success, remember, it's not about you. It's about your members below becoming successful. And that's why it's a little bit hard for a lot of people to understand. Because right now, whatever you do, it's for yourself. You go to work, it's for yourself. You earn money, goes back to you, right? But here, instead, if you help people below you, when they're earning money, it counts towards you. So it's very different, very unique. And the more you build more of these successful people underneath you, what happens? You become super successful. So I know a lot of people uh, heard about people who do missionary work, right? Yeah, I know. Which one of you actually wants to do missionary work? Oh, so little. Okay, good, good. I see the hands coming up. Oh, don't, don't be shy. And I know someone don't like this. You know, you, you kind of don't want to show people you want to do missionary work. Um, I'll tell you a funny story because when I was 28, well, quite a long time ago, I actually said to myself, when I'm 55, I want to start doing missionary work. I can't believe it. I've reached it. Yeah. In Atomy, I'm doing a lot of missionary work. I'm trying to help a lot of people. Yeah, and Atomy has given me that platform to do that. So that's why I tell a lot of people it's very important. Don't focus on yourself. Focus on the people, especially the people that's below you. Even every single consumer matters. They have concern for a reason because they're not properly educated or understanding about the products. And that's why it's your duty to help them. If you don't understand, please consult with your sponsor or your leader. Those people can help you, right? That's what they're for, because they have the knowledge. So, Atomy is open in so many different countries, right? When we started, I think there was only six or seven back in 2015. Look at now, whole bunch. Mongolia just opened. Wow, that's great. You never know, you might have some Mongolian members underneath you, which you don't know, right? So this is a global business. Do you know how hard it is to open a global business? Extremely hard. But look, you have it, and it's free. No costs. You have global business. So just like myself, I have members in other countries already. And I, I heard already, like even Jean, she has members in Hong Kong, etc. right? It's true, you will have it. Because we live in a country that's multicultural. Right? So we have an upper hand. And you know our chairman, he's been on the Fortune magazine, Forbes magazine, you know, a few times already. That puts in some assurance for you that this is a very reputable company. Right? Because a lot of people are gonna ask you that. So you have a company that's make it into, you know, like a top magazine, that's confirmation that it's a very, very good company. And I want to talk about fulfilling people's dreams, because we all have dreams. But because of what we're currently in, we can't achieve any of those dreams. Am I correct? Yeah. Because we're just mind-boggled, like I said, uh, maybe there's certain reasons that's holding you back. Well, I can tell you this. For me, I've been pretty lucky. And I'll show you some pictures. So a lot of people think I just go and do Atomy business. But I actually use the Atomy business for my charity dream. Yeah, I've always done a lot of charity work every single year since I was an adult. So when I hit 21, I was doing it all the time. I even volunteer uh, to do, uh, you know, the, before the, you know, drinking and driving? Yeah, they actually had a, uh, what's called, uh, before they created that program, there was one, a program called Co-Pilot. And I volunteer on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, to help drive these people who phone in to drive their car back home, so it avoids the drinking and driving. Do you know how hard that is? So this drunken person calls the service. 
when you go there and ask, I'm going to help drive your car, what do you think this drunken person is going to say? Don't touch my car. <laughs> Why are you grabbing my keys? Right? So it was very, very difficult task, but we were doing it for the benefit of an accident that can occur where a lot of people lose their lives, right? So, you know, it's something that a lot of people wouldn't even do because, you know, you're facing people who are intoxicated, who's not in the right mind, and they say the most wonderful words to you <laughs> on a holiday. <laughs> and you have to hold it in. <laughs> and then make sure you drive them safe. Yeah, so even things like that, I did, every year I try to do something different. But I always wanted to say to myself, I said, I want to do something totally different. I want to help those people really in need. And that's one of my passion. And how do I access that? Well, Atomy gave me that. Because I created members around different parts of the world, I can access their network to find these special individual who contribute special things in a small town or somewhere. Like Indonesia, I found this guy, he's very interesting. He's not married or anything. Uh, he's not even a preacher, but he helped house a whole bunch of young children. Yeah, very interesting. And they were between the age three to 12 until they grow up, right? And many people drop off the kids to them or they lose their parents. He ends up taking care of them. So, you know, I did my donation to help him out and uh, give them a lot of things. And you know what these kids asked for? Because uh, I asked uh, my member to find out what these kids were asking for. They said they never drank bubble tea. Yeah. So I bought them all bubble tea. Yeah, you should have seen they were so happy to actually finally drink bubble tea because he couldn't afford it. Yeah. So I gave them a lot of stuff and of course I gave them, you know, our Atomy toothbrush and toothpaste. Yeah. Because, you know, Dental is another issue that he's encountering. So I'm hoping that can help reduce the, you know, the visits. So that's one of the things that I did for him. And of course, uh, you know, on my mission, it never stops on one. So, you know, I, in Malaysia, because my, I have Malaysian members, I was able to find this nun. She takes care of a whole bunch of kids again. And she doesn't even have enough money to have her own place. She gets a free shelter building behind a church. So they let her use that building for free. And she houses all these kids. And one of the problems she told me that she's facing is 80% of them are girls. The other 20% are guys. They only have one washroom. Yeah. So basically, uh, I arranged for contractors to help her build at least two more so it can help her out. And of course, you know, donated some stuff to them, right? But you know, you try to find what the necessity things that they need. And washroom was a big one, right? We understand, right? If someone's in there and you really need to go, what happens? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And um, look at this one. Well, <laughs> yeah, this was actually a donation yeah, for, uh, that I did for Indonesian uh, members. Yeah, it's quite a, a lot of donation, yeah. Uh, but they really needed the products uh, because of health issue. Yeah, and they tried it. They really, it had really helped them. And, but, you know, they didn't have it in you know, Indonesia yet because it's not HALA certified and it takes time. So during that critical time that they really needed, um, I tried my best to get it to them. And this was the, the thing I did just before COVID hit. So I'm very happy. Um, that I was able to get them the product until I think 10 or 11 months later, they finally got it certified in Indonesia so they can order it online. But they really tried it. And it was not a small number of members that tried it. It was over 100 members that actually was consuming it and actually helps them. So this was one of the, uh, the, the biggest one that I did to uh, help these uh, not healthy members. And then even in uh, Vietnam, uh, I went there because there's a lot of... Um, you know, there's a lot of orphans, I don't know why, but they have tons in Vietnam. And, you know, I visited uh, this, he's a, he's, a, he's a Buddhist monk, and he takes care of a lot of these uh, kids. And, you know, of course, I give him the usual necessities, the toothbrush and toothpaste again. And also, I asked what these kids want, and, you know, they just wanted candy and chocolate bars, because he doesn't have the money to buy for them. So, of course, you know, being uh, 
a good person, I bought them all something that's bad, <laughs> but I gave them the good thing to brush their teeth. That's why I told them to do that afterwards. <laughs> yeah. And even here um, in Vietnam, I went to do donation at uh, this. This is an old age home. She's actually a businesswoman. She's an amazing woman. She quit her work, took all her money, bought a kind of like a farm with a shelter building. And then she takes care of all these handicapped seniors. Yeah. So a lot of people actually donate things to her already. But I heard about her. So I said I wanted to visit her. And I thought of one item that she really, really needed. And I'm not sure if she actually has it. So I brought a whole bunch to her, like a lot. Like it was actually our propolis toothpaste and the toothbrush, mainly the toothpaste. You guys understand a lot of seniors. They actually have what's called you know, the gum problem, right? And if they have a problem in their mouth, it makes it hard for them to eat. So without food, they're not healthy, right? So that's something that when I donated to her, she was actually shocked. She goes, this is something I always wanted, but it's too expensive to buy. That's what she told me. Yeah. And you know, I had like a mountain load that I gave her. I said, I hope it, this can help you. You know, because I know you're doing a great deed already, doing something that nobody would want to do. And, and I'm telling you, um, I stayed there for about a day, uh, helping her. A lot of the, these, you can see the person lying there. A lot of the seniors were like that. They have muscle problems. They can't even move. So it takes a lot of like massaging and things like that to help them relieve a lot of pain that they have. So, you know, we're very lucky, all of us in Canada. We have a medical system. We're being taken care of. But there's a lot of people in this world that actually don't have anything, and they just don't have that type of system. And you know, you think about it, how can we do uh, or play a part to help them? So you know, for me, I've been very lucky because I put that as a challenge for myself. It didn't matter whether I'm successful in Atomy or not, but I actually used the Atomy system to help locate these people, and then so I can do go there and give them a helping hand. So, you know, I hope, you know, for all of you that, you know, because I'm sharing you my example, what I do on my free time, <laughs> that I hope you guys follow and duplicate, you know, and also help a lot of the people. You know, you can always start by helping the people just around you. That's how I always work. You know, Atomy is a very, very fair system, right? Everyone here, you know, we're sisters and brothers. You guys know that, right? Yeah. So just make sure, you know, there's no competition here. There's tons of fish in the sea, remember that. You can always help each other because knowledge is the key, right? Some of us might not have the advantage of learning yet, but you know, maybe we don't have a sponsor who's so good yet, but it doesn't matter because here at the seminar, you can meet everyone. Just feel free to ask for some help, okay? Yeah. And you know, a lot of people say, wow, you know, you're, you're so lucky you're able to achieve all this. You know, I was like you guys. I attended a lot of seminars. Everywhere I went, I attended, right? Whether, like I said, in Taiwan, Seattle, US, wherever I travel, I made Atomy as part of the component. Even though if I was on a business trip or on vacation, if I find out there's a seminar, I said, why not? I'll just pop by and learn something or meet some people, yeah? And Jason Sims is a guy that I met actually in uh, Seattle. Yeah, it's funny. And then of course, you know, I've, I've seen him uh, grow. And of course, you know, he's seen us grow too. So it's uh, really funny. And you know, in Atomy, just make sure you're very creative how you do the business. You can be. Like even for myself, you know, that's the, the black and white picture. That's actually the picture uh, as a diamond master went to Taiwan. So it's really funny. Everyone took care of me there. And you know, not that I really know them, but you know, they were very hospitable, right? And I've been, doing, I've been going to as many seminars as I can. Even to this day, I attend all our one-day seminar and all the Success Academy as I can whether it's this country or other countries, I take it as an opportunity to learn and continue to share. And like you guys know, before, like you guys, I was sitting there. And what I did is I collected pictures, you know? So I idolize all these, you know, leaders that's coming in, these successful people. And then one day, it becomes reverse. You become the idol because you move forward to become that person that you've been idolizing. And that's why it is all possible. In Atomy, your dreams can come true, okay? 
This uh, star master, I remember, uh, he's very, very nice guy. You know, he has a really good phrase. He goes, you know, I can do it, you can do it, and then we can do it. Let's all say it together, okay, guys? Ready? I can do it, you can do it, we can do it. Yeah. So just remember this phrase because it will keep you moving forward. And, you know, I, I'm very happy, actually, I got this opportunity to really, uh, you know, come on stage and share to you some of the key skills that, you know, how you can become successful and even share about our, our journey. You know, even though not wanting the business, somehow it became a very, very big business. And I, like I said earlier, I really want me to be the audience watching you all be up here. Okay? So let's put that into your life scenario. Thank you very much.